every damn time. What's with this place? Every time I come here. I'm gonna repossess your yeah, yeah, repossess it. What's up, weirdo? What's going on? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> this is the best thing ever. During the pandemic, a lot of people did crazy things. Moved off grid. Some people even left their vans behind and went back to the old lifestyle where things felt a little bit more secure and less chaotic. Me, what did I do? I turned my van into the ultimate off-grid rig. But during a pandemic, what's better than one van? An army of vans. What do you guys say? My home and then our adventure rig? You think we should add that to the Van City Van Life? Well, we can call it a team now. What do you guys think? It does have a four by four conversion. It has two high output alternators. The differentials are Dana 60. I do know that one. And when it comes to four wheel drive stuff, I don't know what I'm looking at. I had a chat with uh, John at J5 Custom Vans today. Yeah, and everything on the backside here, this is all fiberglass. So there's going to be no rust on the bottom section of this stuff anywhere. And uh, that's always nice to know that the only place that we're going to deal with rust is here. And looking underneath here, everything looks really good all along there. There's no, like you can even see the screw mounts and stuff. It's probably hard to see on here. So yeah, things aren't rotted through. Things look really, really good. So if you guys are wondering, if you look underneath your vehicles, you'll see these little, hold on, let me... See these little grommets right there, right there, that little thing? Pop those things out and clean out what's inside of here because if muck, dirt, or water gets in here, pop this out and you just let it drain from that point. So uh, usually if you see rust somewhere, you'll find inside of there is gonna be packed full. On the body here, you got all uh, the glue residue and stuff from, from all the stickers and stuff that were on there from uh, when it was once an ambulance, like all that stuff. It's gonna need a, a bunch of cleanup. But these are great having these things on here to keep the doors open. And taking a look inside of here, this thing is super wide. What am I doing, you guys? What am I doing? This is the first time I've ever been in a situation like this looking at something to buy. So what I'm thinking is not move into it, not make it my full-time home, because I love my van. I love my van to piece. I love everything about the rig that I, I have parked beside this one. I just thought it might make for a fun project. Look at all this space, Cruzy. What would you do in here, buddy? Hey, buddy. Come on. That's a good dog, Cruzy. You want to go up inside too? <laughs> there you go. Follow the leader. Hi, puppy. I'm a strong believer that every vehicle out there deserves a second chance. That if it's sitting out there in the field somewhere and nobody's doing anything with it, it's because somebody gave up on it. It had the wrong owner. There'd be no hot rods at any car show if someone didn't choose to give that vehicle the love it deserved. This van has had the same owner since 2003 to 2018, and that's where a majority of the kilometers came from, from the ambulance company. Then it was sold in 2018, and since then it's had three owners. It's like nobody wanted to give the ambulance what it deserved. And that was a new lease on life. Some love, some paint, maybe some new rims and tires. <sighs> maybe that person's going to be me. Tell me something, does that not sound like it's ready for some time in the push? <sighs> Holy crap. What do you guys think? heart it is beating so fast right now i know taking on something like that is going to be <laughs> way more work than i think it is i do have to say though my heart's beating a mile a minute not because i think it's a bad decision but because <laughs> that's a pretty big decision to buy a secondary rig to work on 
the reason why it's a big decision is not so much the work and the time because I'm willing to put in the work and, and time. This is what we do here on this channel is that we adventure and we build vans. It's what I've been doing this whole time is building my van. And the thought of having a secondary project is, is pretty appealing. When I left his place that night, I told him I need a night to sleep on it. Because you don't want to make a big decision like that without having a moment away from the owner of the vehicle to really think about everything. I took enough pictures and enough video that I went back to the van and I got to relook over everything. And now it's a brand new day. The big decision. Well, you guys, I've been uh, thinking about that ambulance a lot. It was my first thought when I woke up this morning. I know a lot of you are going to be experiencing these same feelings when you buy your first van. And I want you guys to know these feelings are normal. It's okay to be a little bit scared as long as that feeling in your stomach is telling you crystal clear that it's a good idea. And when I woke up today, everything inside of my stomach said just do it. Ready? Are we ready to send this? Good morning, Jim. I will take the ambulance. Did we just buy an ambulance? <laughs> Did we just do this? I've got the AC on high and Mr. Cruz is sitting there with his, you know, balls pointing at the heat vent because his balls, are your balls hot, buddy? It's hot, my balls are hot. <laughs> Let's feed Mr. Cruzy, even though he's passed out sleeping. Open up this window and get some air in here. The temperature outside has been 100% beautiful this whole last week. Now I know what some of you feel like when it comes to purchasing a van. I haven't felt this feeling, well, since I bought this van, which was a, just about four years ago going on. And I, it's, it's a lot. When you spend a chunk of money, it's like, and you see that money leave your bank, you're like, oh no, oh, oh no. But I know when it comes to purchasing this ambulance that it's gonna be a bit of an investment. So by the time we do all the little bit of work to it, and because it's an ambulance and it's a four x four and a 7.3 diesel, I know it's an investment. So if I put money into it, I know for sure I'm gonna get that money back out and I'm probably gonna profit on it. So the reason why I'm buying it, it's not because I need another van, because I don't. It's not because I'm tired of this van and it's time to move on, heck no. I love this thing. This rig is my heart and my everything. This thing got me out of debt. This thing got me where we are here today on YouTube. And it's this thing that I wanna ride into my future and just have some fun in my van. I love it. I am buying the ambulance for the channel. So now that my van is complete, there's nothing more inside here we can do. This thing is dialed to the max. It's perfect. And now that we're getting the lift kit soon, the locking differential in this thing, and a larger diff from an F350, so it's a one-ton diff instead of a three-quarter ton that's in mine now, so it'll take the abuse in the bush. This thing is going to be rock solid and set this summer, and I am stoked on it. I'm purchasing the ambulance so we can continue with building stuff on here. And if I were to buy another van, then we'd just be back doing it all over again. That's why when the ambulance came along, I was like, oh, hold on a second. This could be a whole new educational experience for me and for you guys giving us a little bit of a different build than I did the first time. And I know there's a lot of new people that join my channel that if I don't build another van, AKA the ambulance, then you guys will never see any more quote build information on this channel and we've been doing build stuff and adventure stuff and overland stuff kind of the whole package on van city van life since this channel very first started because my whole life has been on a steady chase for creativity out there adventuring refining finding myself i shouldn't say refining myself out there in my travels and also learning about van life along the way learning about you know proper products to use proper you know ways to do things and it's been an educational process but now that i'm established and my van is well grown into the perfect home for me 
What's going to happen now? Nothing but off-road adventure? Oh, heck yeah. I am down for all the backcountry the backcountry wants to give me. I'm, I'm, I'm 100% in. But then I'm thinking about the channel. I'm like, well, it might be nice to spice up some of that backcountry travel with some more build stuff. Then the ambulance came along. I'm like, here is the perfect thing for us to move forward and still continue with build videos so we both can learn things because that is a fully different shape than what, what I moved into here. That one also has a ton of wiring from the ambulance itself from back when it was an ambulance that we all got to deal with. So, and it's a diesel engine and a fiberglass body on the back, just things that I don't have any experience with. So I am super excited that after our summer trip this year, we're gonna come back. So we're still doing all our traveling, nothing's changing. When we come back from that trip and we're here all winter long, then we can dive into putting that ambulance together piece by piece. I am pretty sure that entire project is probably gonna take us two years to complete. It's not like something we're just gonna bang out for one. I don't got the money to build that thing full out, <laughs> right out the gate. It'll be piece by piece as we can afford to kind of do things. Uh, but I'm super stoked on it, you guys. Hopefully you guys are stoked on seeing something different here on this channel. And, uh, oh my gosh, did I just buy a 4x4 ambulance? Oh, this is insane. Thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, let me know what you think of the ambulance. And we're going to pick that ambulance up. Maybe tomorrow. See you guys soon. When it came to building out the current van that I live in right now, I always pictured at the end of the day it would look just like it is now. Like a little piece of my downtown Vancouver condo with just a touch of the city and also something that's very, well, neutral in color. And that's what my van is. It's got some nice wood tones, some nice bright white colors, and some gray on the walls. It's exactly everything I ever wanted out of my van. It's got a little touch of the city, and it's an amazing place for me to just be creative. It's, it's well perfect. I love my van just the way it is. So taking on this ambulance project is pretty cool because I can turn this thing into anything that I want. And as soon as I seen the ambulance, I could just picture it. This apocalyptic looking zombie chasing Sasquatch hunting rig. Something that's a little bit more dark and aggressive. Great big bumpers, huge lift, nice big chunky tires. And I don't know, maybe painted in gray and black with the ambulance stripes. I'm really not even too sure. I just know that this rig is a blank canvas for us right now that we can turn it into whatever we want. So, are you guys along for the ride? I thought this just might be a fun way for us to fill in some gaps and, and I don't know, do something different together. Adventuring around is fun in my rig and there's going to be plenty of years of me and you hanging out in my Ford Econoline E250 that we've been playing around in for years. I'm not done with this van, we got plenty more exploring to do. But I just thought the ambulance might make a fun way to fill in some videos. So, you guys along for the ride? If you are, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow when we go pick up that ambulance and take it into the mechanic and see what they say. See you tomorrow.